Hello everyone, this is Colossius, and welcome to Daily Game Review number 86. Today we have Sakamoto 93 9Q versus Taka 18 5Q. Let's go ahead and get started. It's a little bit of a rank gap, but we'll see if that has any effect on today's game. I think Black Sakamoto said he might not be a little bit stronger than 9Q, but we'll see how that goes. Alright, so White plays here a very non-conventional move, a very strange move. I don't recommend something like that when you're trying to improve and learn and improve your game and study more things because this move is just there's a reason it's not played and that is due to the fact that it has bad connections almost no points very easy to pincer and invade and the Melio is not that great either there's too much Aji in this position that's why it's normally not played however a move like this is solid and very easy to Tanuki afterwards so a little bit strange already, so I don't recommend not playing that. White does play this way, and white, you don't really have a position on the bottom, and the bottom's uninteresting without the Shimari. So I would just block this side. And then you want, this stone wants to come down, so it kind of feels like you want to defend, even though it's a little strange for white. I think this position is good for black, but uh, this is kind of what the stones normally want to do. So normally you'd play this way. Maybe a two-space high would be better. Uh, Due to the fact that you need some audio, it needs to be a little bit better than the, than what this position looks like. So maybe a high is better here. However, the left side is more interesting than the bottom in this case. The reason white is going here is because white's maybe afraid of the Kobayashi, but don't be. The Kobayashi is a normal variation, so it's fine. And black doesn't even have the Kobayashi. So you really need your points. Your stones are on the left and looking left, so make sure you go left. Keep, keep up the combination here. It's looking like you want a Moyo, but not only is this Gote and Black can just take the Moyo, uh, but you're looking the wrong direction because once you play here, Black can escape and take the territory, and this is not equal due to the fact that it's a Black Stone, not a White Stone, so you hardly have any Moyo, any territory, and any potential. So this result's definitely good for Black. Now I played this in the game, and Black chose to defend immediately. And live. Black, you're already alive. You gotta learn, do more life and death problems if you think that's gonna die. There's no way on earth that's gonna die. There's way too many common shapes in this corner that says this is alive. So definitely do more life and death problems. Because uh, that, you have to Tanuki this. If you just go here, it's super, super good for Black. You just cancel the influence immediately. And it also kind of extends from your stone a little bit. Uh, you got the territory. You took away White's influence. In other words, this result is clearly good for black because white got next to nothing. And black pretty much got everything. But doing this, saving a corner that's already alive is completely pointless. If anything, uh, you passed, right? I mean, I won't say it's negative one point because you might have to play here later, but you practically passed. And passing a stone is so, so big and so, so important not to do because now your opponent might be able to make a combination. And now it might not be bad for white because black lost a move on the board. It's like you didn't play anything. You just, you just passed, right? Let's just pass. White played here. You're still alive, so it's not like anything changed. Maybe you will still have to lose that one point later, but um, you're giving white the chance to make up him, his mistake, and that's, that's definitely not good. You could have just had an easy result. White, do you want to go high, not low? Due to the fact that you need influence here this is for territory and it's too easy to reduce and invade and deal with so the shoulder hits are not recommended here you want to go high when you want to develop and this is an influential position so it wants to develop mari is a normal move all right going high that's fine so many mistakes in the bottom left uh pincer fine Ooh, black Big mistake, or big, big mistake. This is because when white has a stone on this side and a stone on this side, so when white has a stone on both sides, this pincer is not a move. That is because white just plays 3-3 and you have two weak groups. There's no way to live with both sides. Normally you would play here. However, we can see that this, with this stone and this stone, neither side can make a base. Therefore, it's not easy to live with either one. Therefore, you have two very weak groups. So because of this, when white has a stone on both sides and black chooses the pincer, 
white just plays a 3-3, and black is in a very, very bad position. So never, ever, ever pincer when white's strong on both sides. You almost always 3-3 three, three, or one point jump or Chinooki. Maybe an attachment is also fine. But this pincer is not a move when white is uh, strong on both sides. White chose to play here and play normal, but now black's going to get away with it because black can play the 3-3, three, three, and now it's not as bad for black. Black, uh, so maybe black is a 9Q, because he said he might be strong in 9Q, but I don't think so. That is because this is a very simple move. Just fix. Black, you're super scared of your life and death. You cannot play if you are scared of your life and death. You cannot trust any corner if you don't know if it's alive or not. You'll always be over defending. You'll always be passing. Here, you're actually losing points. You're playing negative value moves. Here is clearly more valuable territorial-wise, and it's still alive. It's even more ice space than what you played, and you could also play here, not to mention the monkey jump and territory and endgame values. So this is super, super bad, super, super bad, because it loses points, it loses endgame, it's not nearly as good ice shape as the other one, and you were, you're trying to live with the corner that's already alive again. So Black, I highly recommend doing life and death problems and learning the life and death corner shapes. Uh, because these over defensive moves are costing you dearly, dearly, dearly. You cannot play this way. You can, you just can't play this way. This is, this is worse than passing. You're actually losing points this way. Why place here? Uh, when is the fifth line ever good, guys? Uh, why play the fifth line? You want to play for influence. I understand, but this is still a good move. If you really want to play for influence, then maybe a fourth line, but that's going to give them a lot of points in the corner. But the way to develop a position is be normal. Fourth line wants to come down to the third line. Then after black defends, then you can jump to the fifth line. Now it's okay. If you're worried about black destroying the center, we'll just say, okay, well, you're destroying my center, then I'll destroy your corner, right? And remember, corner is bigger than center. Those basic concepts we're always talking about. Uh, otherwise, pincer here or go here. And then, I don't know, just play normal moves. They're much more valuable. I think you're being a little, little crazy here because uh, you're going to actually lose more points than you're gaining because the side and corner is bigger than the center. So by basic conceptual theory, this is clearly bigger and good for black. Black plays here. White develops the center. Black getting a little scared of that moyo. Just, just play here. What am I going to do? Block? Just crawl in and then... Reduce the center on the line of the Mayo. You worried about that? Then go here. Just reduce the take all the points and then reduce it, and you clearly have more than white. So this is an easy result for black. Trying to live in here is overplay. There's no reason to go so deep. You can easily just reduce it. And if you can just reduce it here very easily and have a good result, then invading is an unnecessary risk. So black, um, I think black, you have uh, many problems you gotta deal with. The life and death and some basic ideas. So I highly recommend to black, study the basics more, look at the classy approach on the website, uh, get those basics down. Don't be scared to of your corners, read them. Do more life and death problems. You can't ignore those so easily. White, stop going for the center. I think your idea to go for the center is actually bad due to the fact that you're going for it wrong. You don't know how to go for the center, and you're actually playing moves that are going for the center in a way that you don't want to. Uh, and what I mean by this is, when you go for the center, you're normally going for the center along with the side, or you're normally building up a side. Either that, or you're attacking something and developing the center in sente, or threatening something and developing the center in sente. That's normally how you build the center or build a large position. Thickness, on the other hand, is used for attacking, and that's also another way to use uh, influence, is for attacking and pushing something into your thickness in order to gain profit by attacking. However, the basic concepts tell us corner, side, center. Here, you're getting the center in Gote, and if you've watched my videos, I'm always shouting about Gote, the center in Gote is really, really small. It's very easy to reduce, it's too hard to seal, and the corner inside is bigger than the center. So I think your ideas to go for the center are actually a mistake in mentality 
because you don't know how to go for the center and therefore you're actually playing moves that are super super small and not valuable stick to normal moves first learn the normal moves master the normal moves and then try to apply some ideas to and figure out which normal moves do those ideas because these type of fifth line moves like like this one it's just kind of a crazy idea it's saying you want the center but it's going about it all the wrong way you're giving your opponent like 20 or 30 points while you're getting like 10 or 15 points so remember the game's about territory the influence is not really very valuable if you're going at about it in gote and going about it wrong and remember that you're trying to get more territory than your opponent sometimes influence is valuable because there's ways to turn it into territory by attacking or reducing or using it to invade and take away your opponent's territory but at the end of the day the game's about territory and here it looks like you're trying to get the center territory in gote but by definition corner inside is bigger than the center so you're going about you're kind of going about this all wrong so hopefully both players found that helpful and hopefully both uh, anyone watching also found this helpful this is kind of a, a misconception of ideas and a misconception of life and death problems and shapes so hopefully i helped you guys straighten that out as always guys look at the website look at the classy approach on the website for guidelines on how to play and don't fear the basics the basics will win you games the basics will take you far i have students that are practically i have a couple students who have been don got to don level and other students who are almost don level all just mastering the basics at a very high level just master the basics and take it step by step and just eventually you can get to don level just with the basics just the basics just mastering uh, the basics and applying them at a higher level uh but you can't do that if you don't even have the basic concepts of corner side center third line and fourth line and basic joseki and basic life and death so make sure you master those basics first guys and uh take it step by step and hopefully and you should be able to improve all right thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys next time